Привет всем, с вами я, Джейни, и мой французский гость Амаду. Вы уже познакомились с ним в моем видео с иностранцами. И сегодня мы сделаем маленький урок э, на тему русские глаголы. Да? Вот, э, so Russian verb conjugations. Uh, Amadou also speaks English, so some of this lesson we will be doing in English. My French is horrible. I had two years of French in middle school, and that's it, and I've never touched it since. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see the study of Russian from the perspective of somebody who knows a, a romance language. So he's going to have a big advantage in many ways. So, Amadou, let's do a little speaking warm up right now. Yes. And you're just going to kind of tell me, um, like, что ты делаешь каждый день? Да, какой у тебя типичный день? Um, uh, каждый день я завтракаю. Так, хорошо. Я um, обеждаю. Обедаю, ага. Я ужинаю. Okay, хорошо, молодец. Тоже я смотрю телевизор. Да, я слушаю, но я слушаю, слушаю радио. Слушать, э, так. Я читаю книгу. Так, хорошо. Э, я разговариваю о себе. Mm -hmm. Так, uh, разговариваю, очень хорошо. Так. Uh, я работаю каждый день. Так, очень хорошо. Я отдыхаю тоже. Mm -hmm. И uh, интересно, во сколько ты встаешь? А, uh, я встаю. Uh, как, как это встаешь? Uh, ну, например, я сплю. А. Uh. Каждый, вот. каждый ночь. Да, во сколько ты рано, э, рано встаешь? Рано? Эм, да. С, э, восемь, но. Семь час, но семь часов. Семь часов, молодец, очень хорошо. А ты м, принимаешь душ? Да, я принимаю душ кажд, каждый, mm -hmm. кажд, кажд, каждое утро. Каждое утро, молодец. Каждое утро и каждую ночь. Uh -huh. Вот, а ты uh, чистишь зубы? Зубы? Зубы. Чистишь? Да, да, да. да. Я... Э, как, как это глагол? Да, вот, мы будем говорить <laughs> об этом. Ты, ты узнаешь в конце урока, ты будешь знать этот глагол. А вот еще здесь uh, несколько глаголов, да, например. А во, сколько, во сколько ты обычно начинаешь работу? А, Видишь, вот здесь. Э, я работаю э, пять дня в неделю. Да, а во сколько ты начинаешь? Например, когда э, твой а. рабочий день начинается? А, да, я... Начаю эм, 11 часов mm -hmm. и эм, 20, 20, эм, 20 часов. Да, очень хорошо. А вот здесь еще несколько... А, ложиться спать. Ты как во сколько ты обычно ложишься спать? Ложишься спать? Как, как, это? Mm -hmm. как идти спать? А. О, я очень устала, я хочу спать. Окей, okay, хорошо, я иду. А да. Я, э -э я ложусь спать. Я спать только когда работаю э, утром. Э -э я хочу спать дня, и я только один, один час. В час ты ложишься спать. час. Да. А, окей, еще здесь интересно. А, пить кофе? Кофе. Эм, я пью кофе, э, когда эм, в Париже я пью кофе, э, mm -hmm. сен-барт нет. Вообще не пьешь кофе? Ты, потому что эм, 
mi maya kravate ta malinki i kada ta malinki ya kada ya piu kofi ya ne hatu spot Хм, интересно. Вот, очень интересно. А вот как насчет вот этот глагол? Готовить. Готовить? А, я не готовлю. Вообще, я, не готовишь. Я, я только, я только э, готовлю пиццу. <laughs> я mm -hmm. но, им, но, я куш, но, это не кушать, это есть. Э, как есть? Я, я ем. ем. Молодец, я ем. Я ем. Pizzu. No, ja, 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 nie, ja nikogo nie gotuję. 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 Очень хорошо. А вот. So I don't know if you can see some of these verbs over here. It's probably small, but you maybe you could ask me, um, you know, about some of these verbs. Like, when do you do this verb? When do you, etc. Ah, yes, it's very really small. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, really I, you know what? I haven't seen the, the screen. I was like uh, kind of memorizing what I yeah, this is verb. Uh huh. Okay. Itchy. Okay. You can say. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is I'm just seeing if you now know how to conjugate these into like the T form. The T form. Mm -hmm. Let's um, see if you know how. Because I'm hoping by t the end of today's lesson you'll be really good at at conjugating verbs. Yeah. Would you like me to conjugate which one? Got gatuvi. Sure. Oh, uh, yeah, gatuvlu. Ти готовиш? Так, молодец. Он, она готовит? Так. Мы готовим? Ага. Ви готовите? Так. Они гот Они готовлют? Close, close. By the end of today, you'll be able to say that correct. So what I want to show, what I'm doing here is I'm showing that sometimes you you can correctly guess some Russian verb conjugations, um, but it's it's a little tricky. But if you know this system that I'm going to talk about in today's video, you will be able to guess the like all six of the of the conjugations. So what about like if I were to give you a verb like this, stavait to wait to get up, like to get Stavate. up to stand up. Would you know how to translate, or would you know how to conjugate that one? I would say, "Ya vstavayu." Is it? No. Ah, okay. I can. Get it. No. <laughs> yep. No. So yeah, we'll talk about this. So uh, we'll we'll get into this. So again, I'm just I'm just doing this to kind of illustrate. So how about this one? Spayu. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, and this is the one. Okay, so this is Amadou is he's falling perfectly into my trap. I knew he would do this because <laughs> speakers of Romance languages, as well as in us English uh, speakers who have originally learned uh, Spanish or Italian or French, we love to think that Russian has a system like French and Spanish do with AR verbs, ER verbs, IR verbs, and you can just predict. Right. You can look at the end of a verb in Russian and you can predict. So like when I was first learning Russian, I thought that these were the categories of Russian verbs. At and eat. Totally, totally, totally wrong. Completely wrong. So that's why that's why we heard Amadou saying you, right? Spy you. Because we we want to think that there's some way to look at the infinitive of Russian and predict. But the bad news is there's no the infinitive is going to cause you problems. And the infinitive is this, when we have the te is not on the end, right? So, but guess what? There is a system, yeah? So, right? So just like in French, and this is where uh, Latin language speakers do have an advantage in that they also have the six conjugations. English speakers, we are at a huge disadvantage because we only have two conjugations for our verbs. Um, so yeah, Latin speakers, they grasp this concept. Their brain is already set up for this concept. They don't need to make any room. So, for example, if I were to give you a verb like принимать душ, Amadou, if we were to say принимать душ, yep. can you go and, and, yeah, go through and conjugate it. Я принимаю душ. Так, ты? Ты принимаешь душ. Принимаешь душ. Он, она, оно принимает душ. Так, отлично. Мы, мы принимаем душ. Mm -hmm, очень хорошо. Принимаете душ. И да, оно очень хорошо. 
принимаю душ. Да, очень хорошо. So good. So a lot of verbs. So it, we can at least count on these typical endings on the ends. So back over here on French, we saw this kind of thing, like all I conjugations end in an O. Is this French or Spanish? No, this is French. Uh, We've got the... It's, um, it's, uh, could you give me an example of a verb? Like in infinitive, I can tell you if it's Spanish or... Um, so, for example, um, I'm trying to think of a French verb that would have an AR. Palais in French would be an ER verb, but that's not the no, no, I speak. Spanish. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, it's got to, it must be Spanish or something. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. 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 Como, so, hablar. Hablo, como, yo hablo, como, tu hablas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 In Spanish. So, yeah. So, that's where it, it is like French and Spanish in that. You, you know, you can kind of predict to a certain degree. The problem is what we don't account for are what vowel we need and then these mutations. Uh, do you know what a mutation is? Mutation? No. Mm -hmm. So a mutation is when a consonant is one thing in one form of the word and then suddenly it changes to something else. Okay. Right. Um, so, for example, have you ever conjugated this word wrong and made a fool of yourself? Besides. Yeah, Have you ever oh, um, I, yeah, do you know it, what it, it means it, if you conjugate it, it wrong? Should. Yeah, so it should be. This is the correct version. But have you ever said, yeah, peace are you? And like your no, Russian friend laughed at you? Because I've learned directly <laughs> the, the right, right version. So sometimes we need, to, we, we need to come across the word and to... There are some uh, verbs that I memorize and when I don't don't see the verb I go to pisa you know <laughs> yeah yeah good so pisa means you're peeing like you're going to the bathroom oh, okay, 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 that's that's thing. yeah <laughs> so so that's why if you look at the infinitive and you try to predict you're gonna do ridiculous things okay so the cool thing is Russian has two verb conjugations so first has either a ye or a yo on the inside of the hamburger see how this is a hamburger the ya is the top bun the Ani is the bottom bun. And then look, it has the same vowel everywhere else. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the Ani conjugation. And remember how you said gatov yut? We'll see why that was wrong in just a second. The Ani conjugation is just the ya with a T added on. Super easy. And then the other thing, if there's a mutation, so meaning something weird happening, it's going to be weird everywhere, all throughout the hamburger. Okay, so this is where you're going to show me how you're a language genius. And... I'm going to give you, I'm, I chose some verbs that you may not know off the top of your head, but I'm going to show you how, like, once you know the system, you can just start to predict everything. Okay, okay. so do you know any conjugations of ждать, to wait? But ждать. Ждать, yep, that's the, same, that's the same one. But if you were to say, like, I am waiting. Я ja, ждаю. Ja 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 Okay, so now I'm going to give you your uh, inside of the hamburger. Inside of the hamburger is where we get our vowel that we need. So, P, watch this. Oh, there we have our vowel. So now you can start to predict everything else. Okay. Let's try it. Same vowel all throughout. On. On. Ждет. Ждет. Молодец. Мы. Мы ждем. Ждем, отлично, вы. Ждемте. Ждете, вы ждете, очень хорошо. And then remember, the они is just the я with a t on the end because it's a first conjugation verb. Они ждут. Ждут, отлично, молодец. See, so you can see the inside of the hamburger. Yo, 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 yo. And then the ya and the ani look somewhat similar. So this is a first conjugation verb. Okay, now I'm going to give you a, another very common verb, and people always get scared and don't know how to conjugate this one. Here we go. I'm going. Ya yeju. Ya yeju, that's a totally no, separate ya, verb. Ya yedu, ya yedu. Yedu, maladiet. Ya yedu. Ki? Idios. That's a different verb. The no, ki, I'll just... Okay, so now we have everything we need to start predicting everything. We've got our vowel, and we see that it's a first conjugation verb, and we see that it has this weird D that came out of nowhere. It was not in the con it was not in the infinitive, but if it's a first conjugation verb, we need the weird thing all throughout. So the yedish on on yedit. Едет. Правильно. Мы. Мы едем. Едем. Отлично. Вы. Вы едете. 
Едите. Отлично. Они? Они едут. Едут. Отлично. Супер. Вот. Очень хорошо. And just interestingly, a lot of times even Russians spell this wrong because they don't know this system of their language. Okay, last one. I, I guarantee I'll, I'll be super impressed if you know what this verb means. To dream? No. Nope. Махать means to like you wave. Махать рукой. Махать, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to have a mutation though. Я машу. Я машу. Я машу рукой. Ты машешь. And now you can start predicting. We've got our weird thing and we've got our vowel. Okay. Они машет. А он машет рукой. Он машет. Мы. Мы машем. Машем рукой. Очень хорошо. Вы. Вы машете. Машете рукой. Они. Они машут. Машут. Правильно. Отлично. So that's it. That's how you can start to predict. So the, the key, though, is you cannot rely on the infinitive of the verb like you can in Spanish or French. In French and Spanish, you look at, for the most part, 85% of the time, you can look at a verb in the infinitive and just, just fill in the blanks and you know how to, you can predict everything. Russian, not so much. Okay. So now let's talk about the second conjugation verbs. And remember when you said, они готовлют? We're going to talk about this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So second conjugation verb, we have e, e, e on the inside of the hamburger. See how there's an e, e, e. Now look at what's happening with the ya conjugation versus the ani. Are they very similar? Uh, lu, 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 uh, change. Yeah. So they're, they're totally different. And then look how weird. We've got a ya that suddenly has an L and we don't see that L anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are the three things that make it a second conjugation verb. An E on the inside of the hamburger. The ani conjugation has an at or a yat ending. And if there's a mutation or a weird thing happening, it's only in the ya, and then it completely disappears. So let's try this one. This is one of the going verbs. Okay. Ya. Ya. Maladiet. Очень хорошо. I remember last time I talked to you, you had really good... Um, you were had a good understanding of the going verbs. Ya khaju ki ki khadish no no khadish khadish yes ah on on khadit khadit so notice as we start to conjugate these the word stress it's it it has this thing where it's on the last syllable on the first and then everything goes back 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 so it's going to go ya khaju ti khodish on khodit mi khodim aha tak ani a vi 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 khadim vi khadite khodite we want now from here on out other than the ya all the stress is going to be on the khod okay so uh vi khodite ani um khod this is one of the ones we are talking about in your daily routine. To brush your teeth. So I'll tell you the first two, and then you're gonna start you're gonna start guessing. Ya chi shu. Ya chi shu zubi. Okay. Ki chi spish. So notice that weird sh disappears everywhere else because it's a second conjugation verb. So now you can start predicting. On. On chisti. Chistit. Maladiet. On chistit. Me. Me chistim. Chistim. And everybody notice how good his uh, palatalized consonants are? That That's an advantage of French speaking. They're really good with the... Um, the palatalization, the soft T's, the soft L's. We cheese him. We. We. Cheese it. Cheese it. Okay. Ani. Ani cheese it. Cheese it. Cheese it. So we just need to remember like ya, T, and Ani, and we can get yeah, the other. But, but let's try this. I'll, I'll, let's do something different with Gatovit. Uh, I will just give you the ya conjugation and how about the mui? So this is why I always encourage uh, listening to music because music gets stuck in your head, right? So 
the more of these example verbs you have stuck in your head, then the more likely you are to know at least one or two conjugations for all these verbs, mm. right? Because you really just need one or two, and then you can start guessing. Um, so, ya gatov lu, you said that great before. And then mm. I'm going to give you the vi, gatovice. Okay. And now start filling in and everything else. Ti gatovish. Maladies. So, notice we didn't keep the L. The L disappeared. It's only in the ya. Ti gatovish. Maladies. On gatovit. On gatovit. Vi. Yeah. Mui. Gatovim. Gatovim. Which is very good. I ani. Ani. Gatovit. Gatovit. Maladies. Which is very good. Ani gatovit. So then the other day, I feel like when we were talking the other day, you were kind of. Um, Struggling with the difference between slushit and slushit. This is a very common struggle, right? Mm. So let's conjugate this verb. Ya slushayu. Ti slushayesh. Okay, so right there. Slushayesh is what verb conjugation? We see a ye. Slushayesh. It's a, it's a first conjugation because we see a ye in there. Remember, second conjugation is e, and first conjugation has the ye in the yo. Okay. okay. Now, though, look at how we conjugate slishit. Ya slishu, pi slishish. Slishish, okay. Oh, okay. So that helps us a lot of times if we can remember that slishit is a uh, to hear, and like then we hear, um, right? So that's a common thing, like when you're getting set up on Zoom and stuff, yes. they'll be like, yes. right? So like, can you hear me? Can you hear me? So that makes sense versus that's more like a thing that a wife says to her husband. Yes. <laughs> it's like, I'm yes. talking to you. Are you listening to me? Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, good. So now uh, I'm going to address one more one more type of verb and then we're going to go back and talk about your day again now that you're now that you're older and wiser okay so what's confusing though is yes if we see this kind of ending in russian it's going to always be a first conjugation verb ya pokazlivayu ti pokazlivayesh pokazlivayesh my pokazlivayem pokazlivayem oh and then you were saying like ya razgovarivayu ti Right? Those ones are super easy to predict. However, the weird ones are, the weird ones that are like very, you can't count on them. And you know, ochen hitri. is mm -hmm. these ovat. Selovat, tansivat. Do you know how to conjugate those? And you were saying, for example, you were saying the word organizovat, or like you were trying to say, we organize. Yes. And that's one of these weird verbs. Do you know how they conjugate? They're super weird. Which one is it? Ovat? No. Right here. Um, ovat. Selovat, tansivat. Olivat? No. I see ovat, selovat, uh -huh. tansivat. Yeah, tansivat, ah, savietovat. Dance, right? Uh huh. Tansivat is to dance. This one means to kiss. Selovat. Okay, so these ones are so weird. They're, they look like they're going to be just like up here. It looks like we're going to say something like tansivayu, tansivayash. Nope. These ones are so weird. Look at what happens. We're going to go. Salu you P Salu Yes. But now you have everything you need to know and you can start conjugating. Yes. Ani Siri three you Salu it. Ah on Salu yet. Salu it. Me Me Salu yem. Salu yem. At least now we We Salu yem. No, it's just the ya with a T on the end. Seluyat. Sel, but this is a first conjugation verb. Because ah, the at ya is second conjugation. Seluyut, maladiet, it's in Harasho. How about this one? Tansevat, ya tansuyu, ti. Tinsuyit. Tansuyesh, 
Танцуете? Танцуете, они танцуют. Танцуют. See, this is still a first conjugation verb, so that means when we get to the они, we just put a t on the end of the ya uh, conjugation. Yes. Super easy. Okay, so then do you remember we were talking about to wake up, and I said, oh, Amadou, how do you think we're gonna conjugate this verb right here? And you said you right? And that's a very typical mistake. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you two of the conjugations, and you're going to you're going to know. You're going to be able to predict everything. So ya stayu, ya stayu, stayosh, and now you go. You know the rest. Ani stayot, on stayot, mi stayum, stayum. I like that. We, we. Стаюте. Стаюте. Они. Они стают. Стают. Отлично. Очень хорошо. And then another common one that does the same thing is like давать, right? To give. Я даю. Ты даешь. Он дает. Мы даем. И так далее. And then, um, good. So there are some, there are four really weird, you know how French and Spanish, they have tons of exceptions. So for example, um, yo voy, instead of, like it has nothing to do with ir. Um, poder becomes yo puedo, tu puedes, right? Like there's just no yeah. uh, weird exceptions. So guess what? In the whole Russian language, there's only four Russian verbs that are just weird, just completely and totally weird. And you were saying one of them earlier. Ya, yem. Ya, yem. Yesh. Yesh, maladiet. On. Yet. Yes. Yes. Me. Me. Yem. Yedim. Yedim. Ah, okay, yedim. We. Yedite. Yedite. Very good. And they. And they. Uh, could you show me the first one? Mm -hmm. But guess what? This doesn't follow that system. It's totally weird. It's just completely weird. It has nothing. To, it doesn't follow the system. Okay. It's an исключение. Они, look how weird. Едят. Едят. Super weird, right? And then another one. I'll just tell you some of the common ones. The other one is я. So when we have that. Я тебе дам. Ты. Dash. Dash. No, dash. Mm -hmm. On. That. Dust. Dust. Me. Um. Dam. Super weird. No. Dadim. Dadim. I do. We. Dadite. Mm hmm. Очень хорошо. Молодец. Они. Да. See, it totally breaks all of the rules. But you as a French speaker, I mean, and like that happens a lot of the time in French. You'll learn the system and then suddenly there's an exception that doesn't follow yeah. the rules, right? Um, so good. Okay, so now let's do real quick another concept that you have an advantage of as a French speaker, right? So you guys in French, you have these reflexives uh, this is one of my hardest things to explain to english speakers because they don't we don't really do this in english right mm -hmm. so um spanish they look like this french they live like this and it means essentially to do that to yourself can you so can you think of any examples in russian that have this reflexive ending on the end no. Uh -huh. to, to be to get opened right what else Начинается. Начинается очень хорошо. Так. Заканчиваться. Молодец, очень хорошо. Заканчиваться. Um, what about like something in your daily routine? Like, for example, um, I, I think it's the same in French, right? To get dressed. It looks like you, I think it's the same in you, French. No. No, surely, no, smile. No. Mm -hmm. What about to be born? Like that, is, that, is that a reflexive in French? Je suis né... No, it's not reflexive, but it's reflexive in Russian. It, um, radilas, no, radilsa, no. 
Yeah. What you yeah. So you were born. Somebody birthed you, like, or I I was born. So Radzica. And then you know what's a really common one, it, and it doesn't really make sense, but to like to do something, to exercise, for example, in Russian. Oh. I can't remember this one. Zanimatsa. Ah, oh. Zanimatsa. Okay, it's mm -hmm. also yes to to be busy doing something. Yeah, to busy yourself with. You're busy yes. by means of sport. Mm -hmm. yes. Очень хорошо. So this, um, so what we do is we're going to follow this. This is the little steps that you follow. So you, you first you got to, and this is, you guys already do this in French. So this is going to come very naturally to you. You first take off the reflexive and then you conjugate it just the same way we were practicing conjugations, right? So mm -hmm. katatsa. Do you know what katatsa means? Katatsa? No, mm -hmm. could you remind me what you mean? Uh, например, katatsa na velocipedia. Katatsa na lyžach. Uh, oh. to, um, to ride, to ride a bike. Mm -hmm. da, katayot, on katayot. And then when we do past tense as well, this we don't want to keep this in mind. And then for like example to do sports, ja zanimayu, ti zanimayesh, on zanimayet. We're taking the reflexive off for right now. Mm -hmm. And then we put back on either sia or esmiakiznak depending on if it ended in a vowel or a consonant, okay? So, katayu ends in a vowel, we put es is not. I wonder if you guys have a similar thing in French. No, you guys just put back your pronouns right back on. Yes. Oh, that's super interesting. Okay, so in we Russian, it's a little the, bit weirder. In the, in, the, in the middle, in the middle. Oh. Like in... Yeah, between the pronoun yeah, if and I the verb. If I translate literally in English, I would say... I get myself up. Yeah, you know? yeah. So and then isn't it an apostrophe S if the next verb starts with a vowel? Um, I try to think of an example. Like, je m'appelle. Je m'appelle, right? So je m'appelle, yes. Because M apostrophe, uh, and then yes. we have a vowel. Right. So you guys mm -hmm. have a similar concept of, like, the, the vowel versus consonant, but yours is at the beginning of the vowel, whereas as Russian, it's at the end of the vowel. Do we care about a vowel or a consonant at the end of our conjugated version so yes. you can see here this ended in a vowel we put a s miakiznak this ended in a consonant we put a sia consonant sia and then it applies to the past tense as well so let's practice then doing some verbs in past tense zanimayus okay so zanimatsa I, yeah. I just have a feeling you're going to be better at this than an english speaker just because you kind of already have this concept so ya zanimayus ya zanimayus e Zanimaisha. <laughs> Они занимаются. Занимаются. Очень хорошо. Молодец. Вообще супер. Просто супер. Uh, да, вот это все. So, so now, now that you kind of understand all these rules, we're going to go back to this big list of verbs up here. And you just like, you have such an amazing talent for language that you're going to be able to listen to the way I ask you the question. Mm -hmm. And I just have faith in you that you're going to be able to um, hear and just start to feel what the verb conjugations are going to be. So, na um, Tak, 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 tak. Скажи, пожалуйста, когда ты обычно заканчиваешь работу? Заканчиваешь работу. Я заканчиваю работу. Um, я заканчиваю работу um, 11 час. В 11. Mm -hmm. В 11. Так, очень хорошо. Ah. И uh, ты uh, хорошо готовишь? Я не хорошо готовлю. Почему? <laughs> Потому что я... Я только, только я только делаю заказ в ресторан, и я не готовлю. Uh -huh. okay. 
Окей, а твои родители хорошо готовят? Мои родители хорошо готовят. 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 Они хорошо готовят. Так, how would you ask me? Are you a good cook? Or do you, are you, а, do you cook well? Ты, ты хочешь э, готовить? Ты хорошо? Что ты готовишь? А, да. А, вот, что ты готовишь? Сегодня я готовлю мексиканское блюдо, которое называется enchiladas. Да? Да, это то, что я готовлю сегодня. Да. Так. А, вот, мне интересно, как часто ты чистишь зубы? Uh, повторишь, пожалуйста. Как часто, вот этот, вот этот глагол здесь, как часто ты чистишь зубы? А, я чищу, чищу, no. чищу, чищу um, зуб uh, каждое утро. Каждое утро. Каждое утро. Uh, потом, ты сказал, что um, ты не пьешь кофе, там в Сант-Барте, потому что когда ты пьешь кофе, ты плохо спишь. Правда? Повторишь, пожалуйста. А ты сказал, что ты плохо спишь, когда ты пьешь кофе. А, когда я пью кофе, я не хочу спать, потому что... Um, мне нужно работать завтра, и mm -hmm. когда я пью кофе, я не могу спать. Отлично, очень хорошо. So, did you hear my, did you hear that conjugation I gave you? Speech. And now you should start to be able to predict a lot of the other conjugations. So, например, я... Я пью, но... Сплю, я сплю. Я сплю. And then ты спишь. So we hear that E, we know it's a second conjugation verb. We know the weird thing, that extra L that we got, it's going to disappear everywhere else. Yeah. And then the ANI conjugation is not going to be like yeah. Okay. So let's try it. Я сплю, ты спишь. Он? Он спит. Спит. Мы? Спитим. Спим. Мы спим. Мы спим. Вы? Вы спите. Спите. Они, this is where we get an ats or a yat. Сплют. Спят. No. Спят. Спят. Yes. Они спят. спят. Да, yes. очень хорошо. Good. So, um, that's just a little exercise. It's just, I like to like, I like to just tell people that this concept exists. And now I think you'll just pay a little bit more attention to verbs when you go through. Right. Because um, okay. again, like like I said, a lot of times Engl English speakers or Latin, Latin language speakers, they think that things are you know, more straightforward and the conjugation or the infinitive tells you everything you need to know. That's not the case. You really want to learn at least one or two conjugations and then you can start predicting the rest. So, uh, next time we do a lesson, Amadou will do past tense, which is so, 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 so easy in Russian. Just okay. insanely easy. So, хорошо, спасибо тебе большое. Это, надеюсь, что для вас было интересно слышать, как француз разбирается в русской грамматике. И а, если вы хотите быть партнером для Амаду, наверное, он с удовольствием а, будет как практиковаться с вами. Правда, Амаду? Спасибо. Да, вот. Ага, очень хорошо. Спасибо тебе большое. Спасибо за помощь. А, да, пожалуйста, с удовольствием. Хорошо, пока.